Good morning, everyone. We are in Springfield, Missouri. Ozark Utility Trailer. We're gonna go ahead and get the alignment done on a trailer. I don't know if it needs one, but I just wanna make sure because the tires on the trailer are brand new and I wanna make sure they last me a long time. There's a Bucky's here in town. It's pretty new. Not even, probably not even a year old. Bucky's don't like semi trucks in their parking lot. So let's go up there and drive around in their parking lot. What's up, cocksuckers? <laughs> well, they allow trucks, they only don't allow, uh, looks like black Kenworth because there is a picture of Black Kenworth right there. Go on, guys. You know, I kind of understand why they don't allow trucks here. Place looks pretty freaking clean. I haven't seen one poop bag. But I don't know, man. If they allowed truckers here, I think we would trash this freaking place really bad. Like, it would not be this clean. That's for sure. But yeah, I heard that I heard they have uh, like very good brisket in here, or whatever. Some people say it's trash, but we are not gonna spend any money here because they are anti-trucker. Even though I understand why they are like that, we are still not gonna spend any money with these cocksuckers. So, as far as I'm concerned, buggies can go and fuck themselves. Now let's drive around a little bit over here at TLG Peterbilt. I wanna see, I just wanna look around a little bit, but these guys are way overpriced if you're asking me on their parts. Today I am picking up a part in Sedalia, Missouri. I am picking up a steering shaft and that sh steering shaft is $53 more expensive here than it is in Sedalia, Missouri. Well, you don't have to go to Sedalia, Missouri to pick it up. You can also get it in Kansas City because Kansas City Peterbilt is the same as the one in uh, Sedalia. So yeah, TLG Peterbilt, a little bit overpriced. You know what I'm saying. They have so many freaking trucks here. Wow. I like the paint scheme of this one. Black and orange. Looks very freaking nice. Although this truck is beautiful, it's got a grass burner exhaust. Right here, we call this grass burner because exhaust comes from under the truck and if you park over the grass, you know what's gonna happen. And these stacks right there, they're just here for looks. As you can see right there, it doesn't connect into anything. Ah, oh, that's a real truck right there. No fake stacks on this one, buddy. Hey there, guys. Record away. Much, much appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
you guys are recording me and I am recording you. So there you go. Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are in Springdale, Arkansas at the place called Freeze and Store. We are picking up a load of frozen chicken, running it at negative 10 and we are going up to Moberly, Missouri, Walmart distribution center. I was one hour late for set appointment time, but it was not my fault. It was not broker's fault. Maybe, I, I don't know what happened, but I booked a load and I told him I'm gonna be there at five. He said, it's fine. I called these people down here that said it's fine. So here we are. Uh, but yeah, I think what happened, somebody might have canceled this load on him and uh, that's why he paid so much. But I was gonna go home empty and then I see this load, I was like, shit, I don't have to go empty now. I can just come down here two and a half hours in the opposite direction and grab this freaking thing and make a pile of money, you know, doing it. It's DOT Blitz Week. I was gonna go home because I have, I gotta do oil change on the truck. It's been 15,000 miles since I've done the oil change last time. And I gotta do a couple other stuff on the trailer as well. Did an alignment this morning in Springfield on a trailer. Everything seems to be running smooth as of right now. I was gonna go home, like I said, because I have some stuff to do on a truck, but also because it's DOT Blitz Week. But I'm like, what are those motherfuckers gonna do to me? I mean, my life has been like a freaking horror story, so they can't do nothing to me that hasn't been done before. So. Yeah, we're gonna run and if they pull us over or anything like that, who gives a shit, man? Good luck finding something on this bad boy, except that it's really freaking dirty. I gotta get it washed. There's not gonna be any more rain anytime soon. I think, I still gotta check to make sure, but I don't think we're gonna have any more rain. These guys are good here. It's a huge ass place, but, but they didn't hassle me too much. They gave me a door right away, and like five or 10 minutes later, I had a red light and they are loading me right now. Whoa, slow down, cowboy. You're coming in too hot, buddy. These guys have a really fancy porter potty. <laughs> Well, this freaking sucks, man. This place is so freaking good. And the weight was supposed to be 42,000 pounds, but it is only 37,552 pounds. So, I don't know. Freaking sucks, man. I don't have anything to complain about today. Freaking hell, bruh. Come on, man. I need more bad places. Just kidding, man. This place is freaking awesome. Very nice. Let's push this button over here so we can exit. Well, I was going to stop up here in Joplin at Blue Beacon and get my truck washed because those guys, I was there a few months back and they did a very good freaking job. So I was gonna stop back again uh, today but it's gonna rain Thursday, Friday. So it'd be kind of waste of money. It is what it is, man. We just gonna run her dirty. Holy guacamole, go on cocksuckers. <laughs> I stopped here for a freaking uh, KFC over here at uh, the pilot. But guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> They have Popeye's chicken right over here, my friend. Where you going, cocksucker? Speed into a truck stop, you dumb freaking piece of shit. I think I'm just gonna stop behind this cocksucker right here that's probably inside taking a shower with his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> They're scrubbing each other down, brah. 
freaking jackasses and uh, I'm gonna get KFC four peas at KFC uh, I think it's number three $14.99 mother fucking dollars bro I'm like you gotta be fucking crazy man let's disturb these homeless people that are sleeping under the bridge real quick ah shit no we can still do it even though I messed up yeah all right wake up it's time to go to work guys come on <laughs> but uh 14.99 bro i'm like hell no man popeye's chicken whenever you are before you buy popeye's oh shit. before you buy popeye's chicken before you buy popeye's chicken you search up uh popeye's deals online and it will come up with coupons and right here they have two can dine for $11.99 but you get five piece chicken and two sides <laughs> like a lot more than stupid ass KFC but a lot less money so fuck you colonel you motherfucker plus Popeye's chicken is a lot better anyway but I didn't get any of that because I didn't want to block the pump uh, to go to Popeyes and there's no parking spots available. So fuck it. We're driving hungry. I did get two Red Bulls though, so I guess that counts as food. Alright, get it done, buddy. This road right here is Interstate 49 and we are trucking north. We are shutting it down early today. Get up early in the morning, get it filled up with this cheap diesel right here at Come and Go. 
and then we're gonna head on to Sedalia, Missouri, pick up a steering shaft for the truck, and then we're gonna go home. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna go deliver this thing. I could probably make it to Sedalia, but it's only like hour and 45 minutes from here, but I'm like, what if I get tired on my way up there? I'm not gonna be able to shut down anywhere, you know? So found the perfect spot right here on the side safe away from everybody and it's time to go to sleep rise and shine good morning everyone here we go you know how they say early bird gets the worm well the only thing i'm gonna get today is i'm gonna get to be very freaking tired bro because i've been up since like 3 freaking a.m on my phone <laughs> unable to sleep I didn't want to start driving at 3 a.m. because I'm kind of hoping to see something interesting on this road and this road right here is US 65 and we are trucking north to Sedalia, Missouri, Peterbilt but I don't know if we're gonna see anything interesting. I guess you guys will know whenever I know. And by the way, I am not retiring. <laughs> I was just making a joke about all the dudes playing women's sports against women. So it was just it was just a joke, me joking in my in my own way, you know, saying that I'm gonna retire because I am betting on men in women's sports that I've been killed in. So there's not gonna be a retirement for me anytime soon. I will probably die in this truck. This one, or maybe some other truck. I don't know, but it will be in the truck. Buffalo, Missouri. I got pulled over here one time. Some cocksucker called in on me, said I ran him off the road and hit him with my trailer, <laughs> which was not true. We are just north of Buffalo, Missouri, and this is where it happened. You see these headlights? That's where I was coming from. Trucking down to Texas, picked up a load of filters in Missouri with my brand new trailer that I just bought, and I am following this dark green Jeep Grand Cherokee and I am following along for a long time and he is being really fucking annoying because he's very very slow and every time I try to pass him he speeds up well finally I get a chance to pass him and as soon as I'm about to pass and get in front of him he speeds up well I already had my blinker light on and I was coming over buddy well he overreacts instead of stepping on a brake he swerves over and goes into a ditch over here but he didn't get stuck he just kept going i was like holy shit this motherfucker's gonna call the cops on me well i come down to buffalo there's two state troopers sitting right there and i i drive through buffalo and i see one coming after me in a rear view mirror he pulls me over here comes a DOT officer and that other guy, he stopped in front of me with the green Jeep and behind the state trooper that pulled me over stops a white car. I was like, holy shit, man, it's probably one of his buddies. They're gonna lie on me or something that I hit him. And I sit in the trooper's car. He, he's like, the guy called in, he said, you just hit him, ran him off the road. I was like, dude, Look at my trailer, it's brand fucking new. There's not a mark on it. Do you think if I hit somebody, there wouldn't be any marks on it? He was like, yeah, I don't see anything, but let's see what happens. Let me see what this car wants that pulled up behind him, white car. He goes up there, he sits me in his car first, in the front seat. He goes back to the white car, comes back out. He said, sir, you're free to go. This guy, he just said, you didn't do nothing, that the green Jeep just overreacted. 
and I was on my merry way down to Texas while that cocksucker in green jeep, he stayed behind to get grilled for fucking lying because I did not hit him. I don't think I even cut him off, man. I just think he, I don't know what happened. He was stupid, he overreacted, and it's not my fault that you fucking done. So whoever you are, or whoever you were in that white Toyota Corolla, I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much for saving my ass that day. I did have a dash camera that time, and I swallowed the SD card just in case. <laughs> Sedalia Peterbilt. I don't know if they're open yet. I think they open at 8, but let's go and try. Right here, I got U joints. I'm gonna return because I was going to rebuild that steering shaft, but I'm like, for $250 more, I'll just buy a whole new freaking tank. Yeah, they're not open yet. They open at 8 a.m. All right, here it is. We're gonna be putting this thing on tomorrow. Yes, sir. All righty, time to go home, relax a little bit, and then head on to our delivery this afternoon. It's always a pain in the ass to turn left right here because this, over, this road over here to our right is US 65, and you got four lanes of traffic coming down at like 65 miles an hour and over here from the right you have a blind spot it's like well I don't know if you call it a blind spot but it's like a hill and you can't really see okay well here we go come on you moving over cocksucker yes you are all right well, fuck these people. Slow down. Slow down, motherfuckers. Big truck coming through. Big truck coming through, motherfucker. All right. Woo! Get her down, buddy! Looks like the eastbound bridge is coming along quite nicely here in Rocheport, Missouri. And these cocksuckers from Missouri are going to build three-lane interstate from Rocheport right here from this bridge over to Kingdom City, Missouri, which is a total waste of money, totally unnecessary. There's, there's hardly ever any kind of traffic jam between Kingdom City and over here, nothing. What they could have used the money for is to redo that intersection of Interstate 70 and 63 because that intersection freaking sucks and it always creates the traffic jam. People sometimes have to wait an hour to get on from US 63 north to get on Interstate 70 uh, west. Sometimes an hour right there, which is freaking ludicrous, bro. Come on, Missouri. You gotta stay in your lane, Prime. All right, very good, buddy. Moberly, Missouri. We are not gonna take this exit, actually, because it's a tight turn down here, and you got two stoplights. But I saw my Swifty Swift, buddy. When I was picking up in Kirksville coming down here, I saw him take this exit right here. 
Morley Street. Morley Street, Business 63. He took this exit and came over here on this outer road. All right, and this is a pretty nice outer road. Thank you, 50. Thank you, my friend. Well, me and a nice lady got to chatting in there a little bit. And uh, she says they are getting rid of Swift from this location. So they're not gonna have another company. They are bringing in 50 Walmart drivers to replace Swift. All right. I like Walmart drivers, man. Walmart drivers are very professional from what I've seen, from every one of them that I ran in. They're always dressed in white shirt, blue khaki pants or whatever. You know, always clean, always nice. That's how every driver should be. Well, I guess if you are living in Moberly, Missouri area, somewhere close by, this is a very good time for you to get a job with Walmart and run out of this DC right here. Negative 13. Looks like I am lined up to a wrong door. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be in 138 right there, not 139. But no biggie. We're just gonna scoot over to the right. Woo, buddy. Freaking freezing in there, bro. Of course it's freezing. It's negative 13 in there right now. Hot, hot case meats. Keep frozen. Looks like popcorn chicken. You always want to chalk the wheels at Walmart because a lot of times they will have a camera mounted right there. Oh, there it is, right there. So they can see if your tandems are slid all the way backwards and if you chalk your wheels. So she said they are getting rid of this bobtail parking. They're gonna build an office for Walmart drivers. And then eventually when they get rid of Swift, they're gonna take over that building over there. So from now on, they are just gonna have us pull forward like that Schuster truck, which I'm not a big fan of. If you're gonna have us disconnect, let us move away. It's a lot easier for drivers to park whenever there's no truck there but it is what it is. time you hook back up to your trailer you want to do a tug test you want to put it in gear and start moving forward a little bit just to make sure that the uh, fifth wheel is locked and also of course look at your fifth wheel release handle earlier whenever i was disconnecting the trailer i made a rookie mistake i did not disconnect my airlines 
and I just pull forward, but luckily nothing is messed up. So learn from my mistakes, guys. Alright, just turn the lights on just to be on the safe side, and it looks like they are working. So, no harm, no foul. Door 138, thank you Walmart. I had replaced this a few months back because it was leaking oil. Well, I don't think anything was wrong with the old one. Uh, I think it just wasn't torqued down because even after I put that on, it was still leaking until this morning whenever I torqued it down. It was just splattering all over a little bit, but it's good now. All right, we are empty. About to check out here with the security lady. Thank you guys for watching. It's much appreciated. All of you guys have a great day and please stay safe out there.